Another big story we're following at 6 o'clock. A college mourning the death of a pre med student at Goucher. As 24 year old Eliza Grover was hit and killed by a car while on a sidewalk in Towson, and police say that driver was intoxicated. Live at 6 o'clock tonight, Kelsey Kushner has more on this investigation and also reaction from the neighborhood where this all happened. Kelsey. Rick, well, we just got our hands on those charging documents. In it, it says that Richard Mays told police that he was distracted when driving because his phone rang when he took his eyes off the road for a split second. That's when he struck and killed Eliza. This is 24 year old Eliza Grover. She was killed while out for a run along Providence Road Saturday afternoon. Charging documents say just before 4 30 p.m., the driver, Richard Mays, was behind the wheel of a Ford F 250 heading northbound when the truck jumped the sidewalk, hit a pedestrian sign, then struck Grover. Grover was pronounced dead at the scene. I'm not shocked. This is a very dangerous area. Police reports say Mays told officers he had two to three beers earlier in the day, but a receipt from Total wine and liquor shows he purchased a 12 pack just 11 minutes before the crash. When asked what happened, Mays told police while driving his cell phone rang, and when he went to grab it, it fell to the floor. It was when he went down to grab his phone that he struck Rover. It makes me very nervous to walk the street. Now, Mays did go before a judge today, but his bond hearing has now been postponed to tomorrow. We did receive a statement from the president of Goucher College. They say that Eliza was very close with her classmates. They say that she was uh, close with the volleyball team and she will be missed by many. Reporting live, Kelsey Kirshner for WJZ.